Ms. Schwartz, when did you and the defendant start dating? July of 2018. And when did you purchase this house that is the subject of this case? On December 4th of 2018. You were not living in the house? No, I was not. It was not ready to live in? No. So you arranged with Mr. Chambers that he would do some construction in the house. It would be sort of a project. And there was some suggestion in Mr. Chambers' answer to your complaint that the two of you celebrated Christmas in the house in 2018. And that at that time, the place didn't have a running bathroom facility and he created a, a toilet so that you could have Christmas in the house with family. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So everything was great. Christmas, it was great. In November, it was great. Then in February, something he did irritated you around your birthday and you broke up and now you decided that any work that he did in the house was substandard and you want $5,000 from him for the substandard work that he did in your house. That's correct. That's not happening. <laughs> I assume if this was a property that you purchased and you and Mr. Chambers had close personal relationship that you were in the house all of December one time or another to see what the progress I mean you invested how much in this house Oh I paid $310,000 And is it your intention to live there Yes Okay so, you gave Mr. Chambers $21,000 for supplies? No. How much did you give him for supplies? 15439 is what I brought. And what did Mr. Chambers do with those supplies when you broke up? Did he leave all the supplies in the house? Yeah. What kind of supplies did you buy? Plumbing, electrical... All things that you needed. Yeah, I didn't realize at the time that all of that was going to be done, especially the plumbing, because I have a report here from the inspector saying that the plumbing was fine, but he said he could just bust it out really quickly while some of the walls were exposed. Well, that's just your decision that you made with him while you were dating. This yeah. isn't something that you did afterwards. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You're a couple. You yes. say you know he's not a uncross. You know he's not a contractor, that he works under his father's license. You work under your father's license? I said that would be an option if we had to pull permits. I don't work under my father's license. Are you licensed? No, it's not my profession. Shh. What is your profession? I own a couple skateboard companies. Okay. And when you started to date him, he was doing his work. He was flipping homes when I was started dating him, and he led me to believe that he was a contractor. And I had no reason not to believe him. You know, I've known him for 20-plus years, and that's what he was doing every day. <laughs> your Honor, can I say something? I never led her to believe I was a contractor. I was working on my own home, and when we looked through the home, she asked for my advice. I told her I could help out with everything except for electrical and plumbing. Whatever. Electrical. It's not something that I'm concerned about. Okay. This was not a business. No. You weren't charging her for your services. No. You were just paying for supplies, and he was doing it. There's nothing in your complaint that suggests he was charging you for his services. Is that correct, Ms. Schwartz? Yes, because right. he was living he, there. Just a second. He was doing it because you were dating. This is not something that court entertains. You know, it's as if you're a married couple and your husband thinks he's a handyman mm -hmm. and whatever he touches, he breaks. <laughs> and whatever he tried to paint, it was a lousy job. Whatever he tried to spackle, it got soft and it wasn't smooth. And as part of the divorce decree, you want a judge to award you damages to the house that he did when you were living together. It doesn't make sense. This was not a contract that you had with him. You had a romantic relationship with him and he was doing work on your house. He's not responsible for things that you say on closer look were not done properly. And it's in your complaint, Ms. Schwartz, you even say that you gave him $2,200 to leave your house. Yeah, I mean, essentially, the last week leading up to me asking him to move out, um, he led me to believe I owed him money. Um, so I did pay him because he had people like painting the house when the plumbing and electrical wasn't so done. So he I, was paying people? I believe he was. Oh. <laughs> well, you think that other people were working and painting your house because he's a cute looking guy? <laughs> Thank you, Rob. No. Okay, ridiculous. Mr. Chambers, your counterclaim is also ridiculous. You had no contract with her for labor. All I'm asking for is what I spent out of pocket that she benefit on. And I'm sorry, but you don't get that. You did it not with a contract with her. You did it because she was your girlfriend. Okay. And you did this, as you say in your answer, as a fun project. <laughs> right? We, we had fun. We had fun earlier. Good. I'm glad you did. Your case is dismissed. So is your counterclaim. We're done.